Howard Schnellenberger. A native of St. Minot, Indiana, Howard Schnellenberger attended Fleger High and became a good football player under Coach Polly Miller. So good that he received a scholarship from Coach Paul Bear Bryant to play at the University of Kentucky. He played two years under Bryant and his successor, Blanton Collier, earning All-American honors at the end of 1955, his senior season. In 1959, Schnellenberger returned to UK to join a Collier staff that included several future NFL head coaches, including Don Shula. He left UK to join Bryant's staff at Alabama and was an assistant on three national championship teams in Tuscaloosa before moving on to the NFL. In 1970, he joined Shula's staff with the Miami Dolphins and was the offensive coordinator for the Dolphins team that won back-to-back -back NFL titles in 1972 and 73. The 72 team is the last NFL team to go undefeated. After a little more than one season as head coach of the Baltimore Colts and another stint on Shula's Dolphin staff, Schnellenberger was hired to revive an almost moribund program at the University of Miami. Unbelievably, Schnellenberger needed only five years to bring the national championship to Coral Gables. His 1983 team took the title away from unbeaten Nebraska in the Orange Bowl, one of the great upsets in college history. Schnellenberger left Miami for the upstart USFL. When that ill-conceived league folded, he accepted another rebuilding job in 1984, this one at the University of Louisville in the town where he grew up. It took him longer to build the cards, but his 1990 team capped a 10-1-1 season by thrashing Alabama 34-7 to win the Fiesta Bowl. Among the great players he recruited and coached at UofL, our NFL greats, Roman Oban, Ted Washington, Bruce Armstrong, Ernest Givens, and Ray Buchanan. Schnellenberger left U of L after the 1994 season to take the Oklahoma job, but resigned after only one season in Norman because of internal problems he felt couldn't be resolved. Out of coaching for a couple of years, Schnellenberger returned in 1997 to accept Florida Atlantic's challenge of building a program from scratch. When he retired after the 2011 season, Schnellenberger left FAU with a new stadium on the ocean and a bright future in Division I football. No coach in football history has worked with more great quarterbacks than Schnellenberger. That list includes Babe Pirelli, Johnny Unitas, Joe Namath, Roman Gabriel, Bob Greasy, Burt Jones, Jim Kelly, Bernie Kosar, Vinny Testaverde, and Browning Nagel. Ladies and gentlemen, Howard Schnellenberger.